today I wanted to do the um, what's on my phone tag. So this is my new phone actually I upgraded uh, like a month ago and I upgraded to the Samsung Galaxy S6 and I came from an iPhone that looked like this but not really this one because the one I had is white but my daughter borrowed it and I don't know where she put it so I couldn't use it for this video but um, this is the iPhone 4 and I had an iPhone 4s and yeah this is my husband old phone so I upgraded from an iPhone 4s and I really loved it back then um, I decided to upgrade because it was time my iPhone 4s was starting to crash and the battery life was really bad and so I decided it's time to upgrade and I'm really happy I did it anyways this is my phone um, so yeah I turn it on I put my finger on this fingerprint sensor and it just um, I entered the phone and this is my home screen so at the bottom here I have my um, favorite apps on my dock First one is Messages, um, Spotify, Email, the Play Store, and then my App Drawer. And then my most favorite app starting from the top, the phone, the calendar, which is called S Planner on the phone on this phone. And, and then it's contacts, and then my clock, and then I have Google Maps, the uh, calculator. And then I have the Peel Smart Remote, the Gallery, and then I have an app uh, which is called the DU Battery Saver. And um, yeah, it's supposed to help me with my battery life, which I don't think it, it works. The next app is my Bible app, and then I have the Memo, and then I have uh, Chant d'Espérance, which is my hymns app which is the book of songs that we use at my church then i have the settings app i have instagram i have the youtube and then facebook and this is my main screen which is the screen that is the most the apps that i use the very most um, next page is all my folders and you know used apps or newly downla downloaded apps that I want to try out so the first folder is my social folder in this folder I put Twitter I put the Facebook page manager I put Flickr Pinterest Google Plus and Studio, which is the uh, YouTube studio app Next folder is my messaging folder, which I I put all my apps that I use to message if people don't have my phone number They can message me through other uh, Messaging apps. I have BBM. I have Facebook Messenger and I have Google Hangouts Next one is my finance folder I have uh, the TD Bank app, the SSQ, which is my insurance app. I have Canada Post for some reason. I have my account, which is my um, cell phone provider account. And then I have another bank, which is the BMO banking app. All right, so next app, next folder, sorry, is my transportation folder. And in there, well, it's called transport because transportation was too long. Anyways, in there I have the SDL, which is the Laval bus company app. And it sucks compared to the iPhone one, but whatever. So it's called STL Synchro. And this is the app I use to know what time my bus is going to be uh, passing. And then I have the AMT Chrono, which is the app for the schedule for my train. And the next one is the STM, which is the Montreal uh, Bus and Metro System app. And um, yeah, those apps are very useful. 
next folder is a health folder and in there I have my fitness pal I have the s health which I haven't really taken the time to use um, I'm gonna try to check out this app um, it looks interesting and the next app in my in that folder is let me zoom in a little bit I have lose it and then I have yumly which are all apps that I use to try to stay healthy next one is fitness and in the, that app I have the high intensity interval training um, timer um, it's really useful I've used it a few times uh, on the treadmill and on the elliptical machine I love it it helps me do my workout properly because I'm all about high intensity interval interval training when I do cardio I think it's really great for me and I have the pump up app which is like a Twitter for fitness people who are into fitness join that social uh, media and uh, did share you know ideas and pictures and recipes and just encourage and motivate each other and then I have the seven minute workout which is um, which is very useful if you don't have time to hit the gym or if you don't have a lot of time at the gym you can just uh, use that app to for it to make a um, workout for you and it's seven minutes you can do as many seven minutes as you want and then you can get a full workout if you do many seven minutes um, it's like circuit training when you do it like that next folder is productivity and in there I put blogger I put wonderlist and I also put the HPE print app so that I can print stuff from my phone the next um, folder is my photography folder I used to have a bunch of apps on my iPhone for photography so far uh, the ones that I really like on uh, the Samsung Galaxy phone are those four. So, uh, Aviary, Photo Collage, Camera 360, oh my god, Camera 360, I don't know, I, I, I didn't have it on my iPhone, but this is like my favorite app of all time for um, photo editing on my phone. And then I have Square Instapic, which helps with the... Uh, you know uh, your site the photo size before you upload on Instagram and next folder is called leisure I wanted to use entertainment but the word was too long so the T was on the second um, <laughs> line on its own so I just changed the word to leisure and so on in that folder I have INDB I have overdrive I have Songza, Cineplex, and Cinema's Goodzo. I have Netflix, Play Music, The Metro. It's a newspaper for Metro in my area. And I have Shazam, which I just downloaded. Everybody knows what Shazam is. I didn't have it on my iPhone because I, I used to use Siri to find out what song's playing. But on this phone, I just downloaded Shazam. And next one is my tools folder and in my tools folder I have my files I have a remote for my Apple TV which is amazing because I can never find that Apple TV remote I have optimize which I think I'm gonna delete because I don't know I don't use it and then I have Hancom office 215 2015 um, this is just to open documents so it's very useful and then I have P Tracker and my calendar, which are both apps to track your period. Uh, TMI. And then I have a, a voice recorder. I have the Apple TV Media app, which I've never used uh, yet. And I have the Fi the Bell Five remote. And I have the S Voice app in there. Next folder is Kids. And those are just apps that I use to uh, do uh, math with my kids. Um, and then the next folder is games. 
I only have four games here. Um, Candy Crush Saga, Candy Crush Soda, which is the one I play. I haven't played Candy Crush Saga in months, but I have it in case, you know, I'm bored or my kids are bored. And then I have Word Search 1. I downloaded it because it allows you to play in French and in English. And my kids only speak French, so yeah. We play games sometimes. And then we have Charades, Devinez le mot, which is also an app that uh, allows them to play in French. And I download things for them too on my phone. Because sometimes when you're waiting somewhere, it's very useful. Next app, is, next folder, sorry, is my Shopping and Resto folder. Oops. And let's see. In there I have eBay, Amazon, Shopping, Kijiji, Auto Trader, Domino's, Checkout 51, Yelp, and Pharmapri. So those apps, they speak for themselves. Next one I have Coco PPA, which I think I'm going to delete because I haven't used it and I don't intend to use because I don't think I want to change my icons and all that, but we'll see. And then I have two or three weather apps, or four actually, weather apps that I was trying out. Oops, the two here, which are Weather Excel and then Glass. And then I have two here, with which are Ember Weather and Japan Style. Or Japanese Style. These are all the apps that I use, my favorite apps. Um, otherwise, you would have to go in the app drawer to see all the apps that are on my phone, but the phone the phone can allows you to just show the shortcuts that you want to show. And not like on the iPhone, you have to absolutely um, uh, see all the apps or hide them in a folder if you don't want to see them. And then on this side, I have some widgets which are the clock, the big clock, and then the weather. And then I have the Google now, um, the Google bar to search Google. And then I have this widget, which is like my home widget. And then I have uh, that widget there to show my battery, storage, RAM, security, and all that to see uh, what's going on with the phone. Apparently I'm using too much RAM right now and I don't know why because I haven't been doing anything with the phone. Anyways, and then on the other side I have this flipboard which is like this magazine where you can just you read on things that you can uh, it comes with the phone and you can disable it if you don't like it but I like it. I think it's very interesting if I want to read something on the bus or something, on the train, um, it, it's something that's always there. You can get the news, you can get entertainment information, there's a bunch of things. Style, um, you know, like topics in general that you're interested in, you check, you check the ones that you want, uncheck the ones that you don't want, and then you get information on whatever it is. So this is what's on my phone my Samsung Galaxy S6. So far, I really like it. Um, the only thing that I would say that I really dislike so far is the battery life. Uh, this phone does not get me through the day if I don't plug it in while I'm at work. But um, if you find a way to work with it, if you're able to plug it in, like what I do is I plug it in um, when I get to work and it's plugged in all day. And it's always plugged in somewhere um, when I'm home I try to plug it in I have a fast charger so if I see that I'm running out of battery and I have to go out again I just plug it in for a few minutes and it just it goes up to 50% like really fast but yeah that's uh, one thing that I really don't like about that phone is that it just um, the battery life is really bad but other than that, I really like the phone and I'm really happy to be trying out something else than iPhone. And um, I can say that iPhone is not the only thing, but um, I, don't, I can't say that this phone is better than an iPhone. I really can't say that. 
but to each his own. Um, some people will like Android better, better and some people will like iPhone better. And so far I've only been using it for a month and I can't say why you would like one over the other really. Both are really great. Both have their pros and cons. And I think they're both amazing pieces of technology. So that was what is on my phone. And I may do an updated one uh, in a few months when I start really getting into understanding Android a little better. And uh, yeah, that's what's on my phone. All right. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye. Mm -hmm.